Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here today. Um, as we celebrate our first crop of Covenant House graduates, you know, I use that word purposefully, crop, um, because the work these men have put into cl completing the program is nothing, nothing less than the fruit of the Spirit. You know, this is a special moment in the program, in Rock Church, and the lives of these men. If you don't know already, our mission is to display the beauty of Christ in every facet of our lives. There's nothing more beautiful than the life of Jesus. It's transformative in every sense of the word. Through Bible study, weekly service to the church, gospel and chain-centered classes, financial coaching, mentorship and counseling, our graduates today have exhibited a commitment to living a Christ-centered life. All of these things are but external manifestations to the true spiritual transformation that comes from within and is fueled by a relationship with Christ and his church. Their stories remind us that change is possible for everyone and that with Christ as the foundation, as we just heard, there are no limits to what we can achieve. That's what this program seeks to do. That's what these men represent here today. Lives that have been transformed by the way, the truth, truth and the life of Jesus. You know, we had a little huddle Friday night with all the Covenant House guys. And at the end of it, we were reminded that this isn't my or Matt's or Josiah's or Pastor Dan's program. This isn't even Rock Church's program. This is God's program. Amen. It was his idea, right? You know, we joked, we said, hey, we weren't sitting around one day and thinking, oh man, it, it would be really fun to, to open up a, a sobriety house and you know, struggle and, and toil with these men. We know that God sent us on mission for this, so um, I lost my place, let's see here. We truly believe that. Um, and what God has joined together, let no man separate. You know, I know that verse refers to marriage, but there's a bond here that these men have formed and will carry with them. And although they've graduated and are no longer in the program per se, they'll always be a part of it. They'll always be a part of this church and members of the household of God. You know, you can't see it here, but that word member is capitalized here in my notes. And that's because there's a status these men carry with them in the kingdom of heaven as sons, as heirs, and as friends of Jesus. It's an honor to be a very small part and witness to this. And again, there's nothing more beautiful than the life of Jesus Christ and a transformed life. Well, that's what he laid down his beautiful life for. That's what he gave up the glory of heaven and stepped onto this earth for. And so our story, these graduates' story, is part of his story. And that's absolutely beautiful. If there's one marker and one marker only that signifies the success of our Covenant House graduates, it's this, that their lives point to the beauty of Christ. It's not just about sobriety. We will fall but it's about pointing to Jesus when we do, amen? Today we celebrate the accomplishments of Ned, Brad, Joe, Aaron, and Stephen. I cannot say their names without smiling ear to ear and something coming to this old eye of mine. Each one is a jewel in the crown of this church. A crown that will one day be cast down at the feet of he who made their accomplishments today possible. I was expecting them to be in this room, but if you can hear me, guys, Ned, Brad, Joe, Aaron, and Stephen, I think we can all agree that your lives do just that. They point directly to Jesus. May God bless you with unshakable confidence of your status as sons, heirs, and heralds of his kingdom. Congratulations, guys. All right. If you guys would, let's welcome our first graduate. Hope. Oh. 
All right, welcome our first graduate, Aaron Kinnon. Welcome our second graduate, Brad Robinson. Ned McGinn. Joseph Buer. and Stephen Brown. All right, guys, go ahead and be seated. I goofed up how that was supposed to go. Now I'm going to call up each one of the graduates. <laughs> Welcome Aaron Kinnon up. Yeah. Welcome, church family. <laughs> Thank you for all the support. Uh, Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome our next graduate, Brad Robinson. Good morning, everybody. Um, yeah, I had all this plan of what I was going to say, but uh, it's not coming out. But I do know this. This has been an amazing journey. Um, a lot of ups and downs. But... Uh, I've, I've, I've uh, gotten so much out of everything here. Just amazing church family. I, I have grown and come to love. And what I love is how, how much different we all are, but how much we come together, especially when the times are needed. You know, and we have always worked through our stuff. And I, and I, and I love that about this church. And... Yeah, and we're going to continue to do so. We're going to continue to grow grow the mission, grow God wherever he leads us. And um, I'm just glad to be a part of that. I'm glad that you're all a part of it and that we're just going to continue to do this together. And, you know, um, one of my favorite verses is Psalms uh, 37, 24, I believe. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds, uh, the Lord upholds him with his hand. Yes. And, um Hallelujah. I love you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Welcome our next graduate, Ned McGinn. Morning, everyone. So I came here to get help with sobriety, and what I found was a, a better identity in Christ and a, a better relationship with Christ. And I just want to thank everybody for that.
All right, welcome our next graduate, Joseph Buer. I just want to thank everybody for all the love and support through all this. The church, the love in this, in this church has helped me to grow so much that it's, it's hard to put into words. Thank you all. I love you guys very much. Thank you. I love you even further. And last but not least, welcome Stephen Brown to the stage. Oh, All right, so good morning, everybody. Um, as Brad said, I had like a whole speech prepared, and uh, I was unaware that I was going to have to do any of this. But I want to thank each and every one of you. None of this would have been possible without God, my church family, Josh, Matt, all of you guys, Joe Ripple, everybody, man. Pastor Dan, I love each and every one of you. I found an amazing church, an amazing church family, and I've gotten, grown closer to God. Just over two years ago, I was homeless in the streets of Davenport with nobody. I have no family up here, and look at all of this family that I have. Thank you. All right, let's call all five of you back up to the stage here. Guys, I want to ask you to extend your hand in prayer to these guys, because as we know that this isn't the end of their journey, but it's just beginning. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, you see these graduates, you see these men, your sons, Lord. We know you love each and every one of them, and Lord, we're just praying that you will guide their steps, that you will put a hedge of protection around each and every one of them, because we know that our enemy prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour, and he wants nothing more than to mess up your glory in each one of these men, Lord, and we, we're not going to let that happen. You're not going to let that happen, Lord. Lord. Let your presence strengthen each one of these men as they go out from here today. In Jesus' name, amen.